Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing? I may never take my glasses off again. I got these over a dollar store. Uh, they're very exclusive. They're very, they're very fancy. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I came down with pink eye. It's not any fun. Last time I had it was about seven years ago. And so I may actually take off my glasses. I need the Juno Birch theme song going boom, boom, boom. Um, but anyway, there we go. That's what it looks like. So um, I wasn't going to go ahead and film it all today. And then, um, yeah, maybe that's a little bit better. There we go. Um, like I said, I wasn't going to go ahead and film it all. And then sort of um, was sitting watching some YouTube and a whole bunch of videos came up about how expensive drugstore makeup has gotten. And so I have some information on that that I'm going to go ahead and pass along. But um, yeah, so uh, this video is to make me feel a little better, hopefully to make you feel a little better. And then we'll go ahead and get started with it. Um, I did start off with a Super Goop uh, Glow Oil. And so that's what I have on for my base. As far as my foundation, I did go ahead and pick up the CoverGirl uh, Simply Ageless Skin Perfector Essence. So it's this one. And these are the ones that have the little pigment balls inside. And um, it also has 0.5. I don't know if I know how to say this. Bacchuli? Bacchuli? And uh, Bacchuli hopefully I'm saying that right, is a um, natural alternative to retinol. And so it does a lot of the same thing. It helps your cells turn over faster, uh, makes your skin basically peel so that it's uh, turning over faster. And um, so this is also very similar to a foundation uh, that's very high-end and um, now is getting another resurgence in popularity. I forgot the name of it. But anyway, uh, let me go ahead and show you here. And uh, we'll go ahead and do it this way. So with this, uh, when it comes out of the bottle, uh, those little pigment balls haven't gone ahead and broken yet. So what you need to do is to go ahead and you can use a finger like I'm using or a sponge and to go ahead and break up all those little uh, balls so that all the pigment is released. And then you go ahead and put the pigment or put it on um, like you would a regular foundation. I always use my hands, so that's the way that I'm doing it. But uh, when it comes out of the bottle, it is very much a watery, it feels uh, like water on your face, and then it'll go ahead and sink in. Um, I've worn it a couple of times, actually, since I've had this situation. And um, it, when I first got this, I wasn't, I was just going ahead and using this on my face and avoiding my eyes altogether. And I like it because it's light and it actually does have some coverage. It doesn't have a lot of coverage. And just to let you know today, I did go ahead and retouch with some of this right down the T-zone just because since I'm having such an issue with the eye, the, the makeup isn't it isn't doing real well for me right now, which was another reason I wasn't going to film at all. Um, but I did find this. I found it in stock over at Target, and it was $15 instead of being $22. So most places, first off, it sold out, and nobody could get a hold of it before it even got to the shelves. So the fact that it's actually being stocked over at some Targets and some Walmarts is pretty amazing. On Alta, I think it's 22, and then I think it's 21 on Walmart. But again, I found it for $15 over at um, <clears throat> over at Target, and it was in stock. I didn't have to order it; I could just pick it up. So if you do want to try it, um, I got mine in Fair, 
and they don't have a huge sh shade range. They expect, you know, fair to cover a whole bunch of skin tones and light to cover a whole bunch of skin tones and medium, you know, to cover a whole bunch of skin tones. So I think they're only like maybe six shades, maybe eight shades in this. Um, but so far I'm liking it. Yeah, with the Bactuli in it, um, well, with retinol in general, it can make you peel. I remember back in the day when I had uh, some moisturizers. They were actually day moisturizers. They had retinol in them. But at about the six or seven hour mark, my makeup would start just like sloughing off and peeling and the skin underneath would be peeling and stuff like that. I haven't had that experience with this and that's what I was really kind of concerned about was that you know if it's strong enough then your face isn't going to wait until the 12 hour mark it's just going to start peeling and stuff but this didn't do that so far I'm liking it I will do a review on it actually there are so many complexion products coming out I mean I'm counting one two three four five, six new ones. So I will definitely be doing some videos comparing some of these. Um, not yet on this, but it will be coming pretty soon. And then as far as what I did for the rest of the makeup, um, I used the e.l.f. This is their new liquid blush in the Moth. And I went ahead and used the Girl Scout. Now, this is Hard Candy is doing a collaboration with the Girl Scouts of America. So they're doing makeup this year. And this is the Tree Foils. And this is their highlighter. So this is what this looks like. So, yeah, I really like their packaging. Uh, with their packaging, it, you don't waste a lot of product. And it's very sanitary. So, yeah, from a... I guess a mom point of view, I kind of like this, but um, and from a sanitary point of view. So this is what I have on for highlighter. I didn't do any bronzer today. Like I said, it's pretty, pretty minimum uh, today. I did the Essence Thick and Wild Brow, and this one is in Caramel Blonde. So that's what I did there. Did put a little bit of eyeshadow on. Again, uh, this is the Hard Candy. Um, collaboration with Girl Scouts of America. This is one of their makeup palettes. They did three makeup palettes. This is Caramel Queen Shadow Palette. And so today I went ahead and put this shadow in the middle right on the lid. Uh, this shadow over here is on the inner, um, inner uh, corner. I took it from here to here. So do a little bit right as a brow highlight too. So, yeah, like that. And then I put um, this bronze color, and it's a light bronze right on the inner half of the lid. And then on the outer half of the lid, I put this color, and this is a darker bronze color. So that's what I have on there. I don't have any of the um, any eyeliner or anything like that on. Um, but I did go ahead and use the Hard Candy, and this is the Indulgent, Vol Indulgent Volumizing Mascara, and uh, it's in brown, so I do have that on as well. So I have uh, both of these on the eyes, and one of the things that I really like about these palettes, I've tried two of them, is that as I mean, the um, this is the one that's supposed to go ahead and it sort of resemble the Samoa cookies, the ones with uh, caramel and coconut in them. They're so good, so good. And um, yeah, so I mean, the purple, the packaging is all purple, and the you know the caramel is sort of the bronze and stuff like that. But I really like them because they have a lot of. Uh, wearable colors as well. So, and even the purples are really wearable. There's nothing in here that really isn't. Um, I got the blue palette of the, as well, and I know a lot of the Trey Foils palette is blue. In fact, I should probably go and, it's not over here. Let me go and get it. I'll be right back. So, I went and got the Trey Foils palette, and it looks like this. And so uh, trefoils are the butter cookies that are so good. 
so good, so good, so good. So um, this is the Trefoils palette, and a lot of people don't use blue as an everyday color. I I use blue as an everyday color, but a lot of people don't. And um, the one one of the reasons I like these palettes is because not only do they have you know the fun colors the bright pops but they have a whole bunch of wearable everyday colors as well so um these are available over at walmart and again it's hard candy clapping with the girl scouts of america and i would definitely recommend going ahead and um picking them up there are all sorts of parts of this particular collaboration uh, like i said the mascara the highlighter they did some lip oils. I didn't pick up any of the lip oils. Uh, they did a couple of actual um, lip lippies as well. And they also did uh, some, well actually what I'm thinking of picking up maybe is some headbands. They did those as well and I just wasn't looking at that kind of thing. Uh, this one is called Coconut Caramel. So, let's see here. Okay, so coconut caramel. And this is how this looks. Let's go ahead and put some of the alpha, alpha lip oil on with it. And this is going to be the one in jam. So here we go with both of these. So yeah, this really nice formula too. I like this a lot. And uh, those are the the parts of the uh, collection that I went ahead and picked up. And like I said, definitely go ahead and recommend them um, for anybody who's uh, wants to go ahead and support the girls Girl Scouts of America. And also, I will be doing a review on this. And, you know, if you do want to try it, Target has it for a little bit less. And uh, I think that's just about the video. And thank you, and have a great day. Bye.